Hey guys, Finn to Phoenix here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my main tunic for my Link cosplay. To make my pattern, I used a loosely fitting t-shirt I already own and traced that onto some wrapping paper to make my pattern. Just extending the length a bit, I cut that out on my green fabric. As you may notice, I have both my front and back patterns on the same piece of paper. This isn't necessary and I just found it very convenient to have this as one piece. I just placed the middle fold of the pattern on the fold of my fabric and cut it out like normal for the front and back pieces. For the sleeves, I used the same shirt to make my pattern and just made them slightly wider and longer to fit Link's design. With my pieces cut out, I first pinned the shoulders of my front and back pieces right sides together and sewed them shut. And now for the sleeves, I first found the middle of my sleeve, then pinned that to the shoulder seam of the main garment, then began to pin the rest of the sleeve outward to the edges. Once all that was finished, I did sew just the sleeves closed and left the side seams unsewn. Here I'm folding and ironing these sides to basically make a rolled hem. This ended up being somewhat unnecessary as I used bias tape all around the edges in the end. So here you'll notice that I cut out the collar to fit Link's design as before it just looked like a normal t-shirt and here I'm using some paper to trace the shape of the collar to make a pattern for the facing. I traced both the front and back pieces and added a half inch seam allowance for the shoulders and then cut that out onto my green fabric to make the facing. Once cut out, I pinned them right sides together with my garment and then sewed them on with a quarter inch seam allowance instead of the usual half inch. I also made sure to sew the shoulder seams on the facing as well. Here's how it looks once it was turned right side out and ironed.
now to make some of the details on his tunic. He has a seam running down the top center of his sleeve, so I'm making that by adding a very small dart to the sleeve that's about 6 inches long. Here's how that looked after it was sewn. For the little rectangles of fabric, I made those by cutting and sewing two rectangles of fabric. Who would have guessed? Once those rectangles were sewn, I turned them right sides out and then took the open end of the rectangle, folded it inside of itself, and then sewed it shut. Once those are finished, I then pinned those to the very top of the dart that I made and then sewed them onto the tunic. Now for the bias tape. I opened it up and then pinned the raw edge of it down just about a quarter of an inch so that it wouldn't show on the final tunic. I then pinned that to the edge of my tunic, sewing down the first crease on the bias tape. Now, the corners of this bias tape can be a little bit tricky at first, but basically once I made it to the corner, I sewed a diagonal line from the crease to the tip of the corner, then unpinned the tape and flipped the tape away from the garment, then flipped it over again so that the lines would match up to the next edge. I'm not sure if that made sense, so here I'm going to show you how I did it again a little bit slower. Once the first line of stitching was all sewn, I'm folding the rest of the bias tape over, pinning and then sewing that edge down. Now working on more details, I'm sketching the details he has on the corner of his tunic with some chalk and then I'm going to hand stitch them with embroidery thread.
The same basic idea applies when making all the other stitching details. I drew them on with chalk, sewed over them with the embroidery thread, and I did this for the collar and sleeves. I do hope this video was helpful to you and if you like my content, like this video and consider subscribing, as well as follow me on all my social media which is linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.